Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. We've had a good start to the day. I just skipped over it because I've shown you it a million times. Got my leg day done. Did the podcast, and now Zane and I are about to start our day. It is gorgeous out, as you can tell. Casper the ghost right here. I need to redo my tan, but today's not that day. I just lathered up in some sunscreen and we're gonna do some outdoor things. We're gonna start it out with a little walk because it's just so nice out. And then we're gonna power wash today, baby. Like this house needs it. I have this rug sitting here that I'm gonna try to do like on a light power wash and like from a little bit farther away so that I don't destroy it. Um, but the deck, our outside front steps are disgusting. Like when you go to walk up them, they're white and there's just like scuff marks all over. And yeah, it's just gonna be a nice outdoor day. Enjoy the sunshine. I'm in my power washing outfit. I'm like thinnest straps ever so I don't get really bad tan lines. I'm in my biker shorts. I'm just waiting for Zane to be ready to leave for the walk. The bumblebees are massive. I'm not usually one to be super scared of bees, but these, like, look at this. Look at this thing. Can you guys see it? Where'd it go? It's right here. Hold on. Here he is. Look at that thing. That's a chunk of monk. But bumblebees don't sting, right? I don't think they do. Oh, hello. Hello. Anyways, I was just going to say, I was waiting for Zane to be ready to leave for our walk. I've been really enjoying my Kindle. 10 out of 10. I take back the, oh, I only like to read... Uh, hardcover books because this has been the best thing. It's so convenient Zane's like yes W for me because he got this for me. I've been reading it in bed I don't need a lamp on I can adjust the brightness the warmth this B is I don't like him. I can read it outside. I literally you guys brought it in the shower with me yesterday Did you know that? Yeah, you told me. I brought the Kindle into the shower with me this morning. I was doing my workout and I was doing like squat shuffles, literally holding it while I'm working out. It's just so convenient and I love it. I haven't charged it once since I got it too. It's been lasting. And I just feel like this is my new baby. So I'm still buying all the hard covers because I just put it against my sunscreen. Oops. I'm still buying all the hard covers because I want to have a collection. But if it's on Kindle Unlimited, I'm going to read it on here. If it's not on Kindle Unlimited, I'm not going to buy it twice. So I'll just read the hard cover. And that's my uh, synopsis on that. Also, criminal forgot my sippy at my parents i've got a backup sippy but they're coming over tonight for american idol so they'll bring it back that's that zane is standing here re waiting for me to go on a walk let's go on a freaking walk the sun. it's so nice it's right time. okay here's the update i had to stop you guys because you were getting wet and i was just nervous about it but the steps look amazing it's so sweet all the neighbors are out working on their house because it's so gorgeous out and we just got to meet more neighbors and it was really cute. They're all like older couples and I love them. Zane is cleaning the gutters while I power wash. I'm gonna move to the backyard now. I did pretty much all the front. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. Look in my eyes. Don't let it fall on me. Say you a good guy. Make me believe it. Don't worry. Oh my goodness. How exciting. The pool is open. We're gonna have a beautiful week and I'm like, I'm just sick of this freaking tarp back here. But this little piece of our liner like popped off, popped off pff, around so much of the pool. It, it just pops back into place, thank goodness. I was like, <gasps> what happened? So we're just popping that back in and then we're gonna start filling it back up so we can start the filter and stuff and we convert it to salt. So we have to like put in all the salt stuff. All right, we're cleaning off the pool cover before we fold it up and put it away. We've got a little Sammy. It's literally just turkey and mayo. I was hungry. And I don't know, something about warm weather just makes me want sandwiches. I just love them. This is so satisfying though. Oh my gosh, I was so hoping that this rug would come clean. It looks beautiful. I'm so happy. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of like the brick and stuff and then up on the deck. And then we're done with power washing. Oh, I'll probably do these chairs too. These were like uh, my parents found in their neighbor's garbage and they were like, take them for now until you get your own furniture. And they definitely have come in handy. They will be staying until we have new furniture. <laughs> Okay, 
I definitely got a little impatient. We need a longer and better hose, which we're gonna get, so that it's way more convenient to power wash because it's like not reaching everywhere and it was just frustrating me. But I did the best that I could do for now. I just set up this table temporarily. I wanna get actual chairs to go around here and then this lounger and these like cozy comfy chairs will go down at the bottom and then up here will be like seating to like actually eat. And I wanna keep these like chairs with no cushions because cushions just, it's a lot to take them in and out and keep them clean. So for this table, I wanna do like just some black metal chairs and just keep it really easy and simple. Add an umbrella so that we can eat dinner or whatever. And then down here, power wash all these steps and everything. Here's what the pool is looking like. It looks really good. It's not green at all. Obviously it needs to be vacuumed and skimmed and stuff. But right now, first things first, we need to fill it up with some water. Otherwise we can't run the filter. So we are filling it with the hose. It needs to come up a lot. So we're gonna let that go. I just set this up temporarily too. Power washing these bricks are hard because it's hard to get the dirty water out of your way. So I did the best that I could. Set up these chairs around the little fire pit area. <sighs> Sometime within the next few weeks, my mom said she would, um, she's actually really excited too. She keeps asking me to do it. <laughs> she's like, let's go to the store and get plants. We'll make a nice garden. I'm like, totally. I mean, like, I want like some big pretty planters with palm trees back here. I want to make it like really tropical and beautiful. Um, still have to put the diving board on there too. I think they're going to put the fence on tonight they built it they just have to attach it and then the steps have to go in but i figured we would clean and stuff like that before we even put those in there so that's the progress i am disgusting dirty so i'm gonna go take a shower and then we'll make some dinner on the blackstone i'm gonna watch american idol and chill out um uh-oh hmm Okay, God, we had to switch our hose off. Need to figure that out, that's not good. Oh my God, you guys, that was such a nice shower. I was so disgusting, and I needed to wash my hair so bad. I've got all my hair care products that I'm gonna do too, and my leave-in conditioner. Dad is here now, him and Zane are doing some things there. Putting the fence, turning the hose back on, because I had to turn it off to shower, so that we can fill the pool. What a day, I'm exhausted. Power washing is so satisfying, but we need to get the right hose because it was so frustrating to like not be able to reach places and stuff. And we want, I wanna get one of those hoses that retract itself, you know, so it's not like all tangled in a pain. Oh, twas nice, I'm so happy we opened the pool. We're gonna have like, I think Thursday this week is gonna be like 80 degrees or something ridiculous. And I, you know I'll be out there in the pool. Oh my God, I'm so excited. At least if we have a nice day, we have the option now. Hopefully the weather stays good. I've been using this scalp serum like every single day, consistently. It's supposed to make your hair thicker and fuller, which I need. I don't even care about the length, I just need more hair. So I've been putting it on every day. I usually do it in the night, in the night, in the morning or at night. I put a whole dropper and then you massage it in. I guess I won't really know how it works until I get my extension taken out next time to see how my hair is. I feel like a new woman after that shower. I'm gonna go start cooking some dinner on the Blackstone. My parents already ate. They were like, we're too hungry to wait. I was like, okay. I think they just wanted to go out on a lunch date, which they did, so good for them. They're like, we don't wanna come have your boring grilled chicken. No. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just simple grilled chicken, a little side salad, and some sort of carb, maybe potatoes. For seasonings today, I'm just using a bunch of random ones that we have left over from like HelloFresh meals. We have a harissa, we have a shawarma blend. This one's really good, it's like a little bit spicy. I'm putting it on the potatoes. A little bit of oil. And we're gonna put a cover on them. What'd you season it with to make it yellow? Uh, Turmeric? A lot of random shit. It's good. 
Okay, dinner is served. We got the chicken, potatoes. I just made a little quick salad, avocado, feta, Italian dressing. Actually, I'll throw a little bit of salt on the salad as well. There we go. And we've got extra chicken for throughout the week. I made two packs today and I used my prepped salad. Came in clutch. Easy peasy dinner. And I love the Blackstone. Oh, I should clean it while, okay putting it back on. Hold on, hold the phone. Ugh, look how much I failed over here, power washing. It was so hard to tell when everything was wet. I'm gonna need to do it again. <laughs> Perfect timing, the boys are just wrapping up, putting up that fence. Just went ahead and cleaned my grill so I don't have to do it later. Throw this out. Also, apparently you're supposed to put the fabric cover on it, like every time you're done using it. I done messed that up. These already got all rusty and stuff, so I'm gonna try to fix those with the barkeeper's friend stuff. Apparently that works good. I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> Even like right here is a little rusty and stuff, so I'm gonna take the time to clean it one day, but for now, we're gonna definitely make sure we cover it, which works, because I wanna keep some vegetable oil out here, because that'll just be convenient, and then that cup will be for water, for cleaning and steaming and stuff like that. Putting my cover on my Blackstone. It's pretty cooled off. Like completely cooled off or like warm is fine. She'll be fine. Okay, well, my parents came over and American Idol was in fact not on tonight like we thought it was. They usually do two times a week. Now they're going back to one time a week. So we watched an episode of Undercover Boss and they headed out. Now we're in bed relaxing. Zane's watching a show. I'm reading my book. Almost done, it's so good. I'm definitely gonna fall asleep before I finish it, but I'm like speeding through it. And by the way, it's literally only 9.25 and I'm so happy to be in bed right now. And Bella is loving the window open. Happy cat. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Sorry for the jump scare. We've got on a Patchology face mask. To be honest, I wasn't even gonna film today. I was just gonna skip over it because I'm just doing a bunch of random stuff. But I'm like, why not just at least let you guys know what's going on on this nice Tuesday? Um, kind of opposite weather is yesterday. It's gloomy, it's a little bit chilly, but it works out because as you saw yesterday, we just did so much housework. So I got zero work work done on the computer. So that's what today's gonna be. Um, I filmed yesterday power washing for a reel, so I'm gonna edit that and get that up. I have to finish editing and upload my vlog today. I have to send in a brand deal. Um, I have to plan for tomorrow, I'll get a parking garage. Zane and I are going to an event in Brooklyn, excited for that. And then I'm planning on getting to Zumba later tonight at seven, and then when I get back, I want to exfoliate and get on a fresh tan for the remainder of this week slash weekend. So that's all that we've got going on today. This morning, I went ahead and stayed in bed and finished Reminders of Him. I had to finish reading this freaking book, you guys. I needed to know what happened. And I was sobbing like a baby. <laughs> I cried at the end of that book. It was so good, I loved it. Five out of five stars. Next, I'm gonna start reading the, con no, not Confess, that's a standalone book. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna start reading the Hopeless series. I have all the physical books, but the first one was available through Libby, which is like a library rental for the um, like ebook. So I got it from my local library and I'm able to send it right to my Kindle, which is amazing because this week is gonna be nice out. I plan on getting outside and by the pool. So the Kindle is just so helpful for that. So I made sure that my next book is on the Kindle. And that series is long, it's five books. Two of them are like tiny, tiny, like within like an hour or two I can read them. But the first one is like the, I have like the physical copy, it's thick. So I'm excited to dive into that. And that's my update. Now I'm gonna do a lot of computer work, fun. <laughs> Treated ourselves to a little lunch, got some Wally's sandwiches. Oh my God, yum. Tonight we're just gonna have leftover chicken from yesterday, so easy cooking day. Love that for a busy computer day. By the way, I just tried this out for the first time. My sandwich is kind of slipping, but I got a roll instead of a bagel, but I was like, let me get the everything bagel flavor. And I put everything bagel seeds in here and it tastes so good. Love that, life hack. <laughs> All right, I'm popping back in for a little update. I got my vlog up. <gasps> I need my ring. Where did I leave it? Okay, popping in for a little update. I got my vlog uploaded. That was a long day of editing and I got po my post up on Instagram, yada, yada, yada. Um, I just ate a pupusa uh, about 30 minutes ago so that I had time to digest before Zumba and then I plan on making a nice big salad with the leftover chicken from yesterday when I get back. So I just got dressed for it, put on a little bit of makeup today because I was feeling extra pale because I need to tan tonight. But anyways, yeah, so I just threw on some leggings, a tea, got the sippy, we're heading out to Zumba, and that's it. Just figured I'd check in with you guys. Oh 
my god please excuse my appearance right now so i get home from zumba okay and i'm like great i'm gonna take my nice shower i'm gonna exfoliate put on my fresh tanner get a nice sleep wake up in the morning do my workout and i go to turn on the shower and there's nothing no water is coming out and as you guys saw yesterday we did all like the sprinkler stuff we discovered that having the hose to fill the pool we can't use our water which we were like hmm don't remember that ever happening but did we really use the hose last year don't know then the sprinkler system we have like the in-ground sprinkler system that like comes out of the ground whatever that started happening and then we had no pressure at all and i remember last year like our pressure would go down like lower pressure never like our water would just turn off and so the thing to turn off the sprinklers is like all behind scenes setup and stuff so we were like what the hell though this was not happening before something must have happened when you guys turned on the sprinklers so i'm like dad i'm so sorry it's, it was like 8 30 p.m i'm like i'm trying to get in the shower i'm like zane just went to tennis tonight for the first time in literally months you guys like he hurt his wrist hasn't played tennis in months and of course the one night we would need his help he's gone and he needs to shower tonight like when he plays tennis he's a sweaty freaking mess so I'm like, we need water. Like, we can't go without water. We have to flush. We have to wash our hands. I'm like, I was about to get in the shower. So I'm so sorry, Dad. He's like, I'm on my way. Don't worry. And so we, like, went around checking things. Anyways, long story short, he checked the pressure on everything. And we realized that there was some air in one of the sprinkler things or whatever. I'm explaining this terribly, but this is what I gathered from all of this information. So then the water started working while the sprinklers were on. We tested the hose. Still not working, but we're going to figure that out tomorrow because now it's... 9 55 p.m he just left and i'm saying goodbye to him and i have the door cracked i should have known better and i in my eyes when it first happened i was like oh my god how did that even happen like i had the door cracked it was that was so fast i was holding the door open saying bye dad love you get home safe text me when you get home i look down you guys benji tries to make a dash for it i didn't know i could move so fast honestly i got the ring i got the ring video i'll just like blur the background <laughs> Thank you, love you. Love you. Uh, Mom told you we have to leave at 4.15 for some- <gasps> Benji, Benji, Benji! Shh. Oh my god. Oh god. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god, did you just have a heart attack? I just had a fucking heart attack. Yeah. I was- blocking the steps. Hopefully he grab him if he came down them. He went that way and then he started to run back towards the door. If he ran down the steps, we were in trouble. Oh my God, no catio for you. I had a freaking heart attack. Oh my God, like my life just flashed before my eyes. Like not even Benji's life, my life. Now I like don't even want to do the catio. Like would that just, that would just entice him that every time we open the door, he's gonna, the cats are fighting now too. Like I feel like the catio would entice him to want to be outdoors more and want to dash every time we open the door. And that is just a stress that I can't handle. So I think that I might cancel the catio plans because that, I was like, if this fucking cat runs down the block right now my cat mom adrenaline kicked in so fast and i was like i need to get this cat like if he makes a dash for it i will jump over people's fences i didn't even have shoes on you guys i was like i was ready to jump over fences run down the block i was ready to do what i had to do to get benji back thank goodness he like went really low and he started to scurry onto the the uh front porch and then i started like you know yelling at him you can't really see him in the video and then he started to scurry back towards the door because it's like he knew he was doing something wrong so i don't think he was gonna dash towards the street but obviously like i don't know he's never gotten out like that before he's gotten out once when we were at the apartment it wasn't our fault we were having people over someone left the door open and he was in our little backyard just really low to the ground like looking around this terrified me because he like kind of dashed out the door when i started like saying his name and that really scared me i don't want to test his limits because yes i said benji 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 and he started running towards the door like he knew he was wrong for being outside the the catio is not necessary you know what i mean it's not a must and i don't think it would be worth it for him to want to dash outside all we need to do is just leave the windows open when we're like out by the pool and stuff so he can look out and see us and smell the outside i think that would be enough but for him to have to climb out the window and have like a whole catio i think that would stress me out too much after that incident well now we have water it is 9 58 and i am going to go take a nice shower i'm hungry too all i had was a little pupusa before I left I was like oh I'll have my nice meal right after I shower so I'm gonna make my knife what I'm gonna make myself not a knife a nice salad and then I think I'm gonna start 
reading a book, but now it's getting late. I'm gonna start falling asleep. I'm still like kind of like shooken up about it. Shaken up? That freaking cat, man. Bailey knows better. We found her on the street. She's like, I do not want to go back out there. <sighs> oh, I just realized I left my sippy over there. Oh my God, I have showered. I'm gonna tan in a little bit. I'm gonna eat first and relax, let my pores close so that my tanner doesn't just soak in like a sponge. And after I like exfoliate a lot, I feel like my skin is just like irritated. So I like to let it chill and breathe for a minute before I tan. But oh, I'm so happy to finally have my food and be in bed. I did the simplest thing ever. I just did romaine, leftover chicken, avocado, and then I took sour cream and I mixed it with water and some seasonings and kind of made like a little bit of a sauce and then topped it with a little bit of finishing salt. That is what I'm gonna eat and I'm not gonna dive into a new book right now because it's getting late and I'm just, I'm gonna fall asleep and I wanna actually have time to read. So I'm gonna throw on a YouTube video, I'm gonna relax. I got the hatch alarm going, throw on my tanner and I'm going to bed. Also to add to this night, we have a neighbor, I don't think I've ever talked about this before, but we have a neighbor like that way to us, whatever, that has a car that will drive by their house like every like two weeks-ish and just slam on their horn and they're doing it tonight. So just to add on to this night, I don't know why they do that. They must have like some sort of beef with someone. That's what, that's what I'm imagining. Someone doesn't like them and just is annoying and honks their horn all the time at their house. So that's really fun. Guys, I was like this close, this close. My head was bopping, falling asleep before tanning and I'm so happy that I just got up and did it. I already feel so much better. Like I needed this nice little glow up. So I got on my big t-shirt, always tuck it into the pants so you don't get like a band line from your pants. And I'm just wearing like some wide leg, kind of stretchy, comfy pants. And I don't care if I get on the sheets because we need to wash them tomorrow anyway, so. And I hear Zane is getting home right now actually, so perfect timing. Good night. Good morning everyone. Happy Wednesday. I look kind of crazy right now. Still soaking in the tanner. I'm doing my workout right now. And I'm literally still in my <laughs> clothes that I slept and I tanned in. Because whatever, there's no rules. We're going to do jumping jacks. <laughs> it's arm day, so I'm like, I don't have to be in like crazy workout clothes. I'm not doing like cardio or anything. As I'm sitting here out of breath because we did jumping jacks as a warm up. Which is not fun without a sports bra on. <laughs> but other than that, it's just arm circles, weights. It is 8.55 a.m. Start the podcast at 9.30. Trying to squeeze in my workout so that I don't have to do it later. I have to start getting ready for an event that we have tonight that I'll tell you about when I start getting ready. But I have to start at like 2.30 so I have enough time. I don't want to be rushing. I'm sick of that. I keep forgetting to wear my freaking gloves. And my hands are getting like rough. Even though these weights are like rubber, I feel like they still are not good on my hands. So make sure we wear these. Now we're ready. In my pajamas. Oh, but we finished it. It is 9.23. We've got a few minutes to spare. I'll rinse my tanner off and shower after uh, she leaves for the podcast. I look nuts. <laughs> Sitting here like you didn't try to off yourself yesterday, huh? What's wrong with you? I think he knows. Look at his face. You know what you did yesterday? You were bad? That was so mean of you. You can't do that to me, Benj. I love you. Where would you be right now? You hear me? Let's head upstairs. <laughs> Get set up for this podcast. I need to fill my sippy. It's going to be a beautiful day out today. It's the perfect day to go to Brooklyn. Okay, podcast is done. It is a gorgeous day outside. We've got the windows open. I can't wait to go out a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to buckle up and get work done because tomorrow is going to be like 80 degrees and so is Friday and I have to upload on Friday. So I would love to just get that banged out and get that vlog edited. If I can just like really focus up right now for the next few hours, get that vlog edited so I can just enjoy the shit out of tomorrow and Friday and go sit by the pool and read a book. Like, oh, that just sounds so nice. I think I can do this grind time. I wanna start getting ready for tonight's event at about 2.15. Um, we have to leave at around 4.15, 4.30 ish. And I want to give myself a good amount of time to get ready. I still have not rinsed. I'm going to hop on my walking pad right now and walk a little bit while I edit. I also find that I'm a little bit more productive when I'm walking, I feel like. I'm like quicker with it and it'll just make me feel good. We have a small walk when we get to Brooklyn tonight, like a 10 minute walk to the venue that we're going to. Zane and I are going, by the way. Also, dad is stopping by today and him and Zane are gonna look at the sprinklers and the hose and all that kind of stuff, hook up the filter for the pool so that we can start getting that going tonight. We're filling up the pool still, it's taking forever, um, but you don't wanna run the filter until the pool is like full enough, so. 
um, tomorrow should be great to lay by the pool. I'm gonna blow up the floats. Oh, I have to get like a float pump or something. I have to think about that. Worst case scenario, I'll take him to my dad's garage and use his air compressor, <laughs> but we should get like a mini air compressor for our garage, you know? Anyways, that's my update. I'm gonna buckle in right now and get to going. I'm gonna set up my walking pad and I will see you guys when we're gonna get ready. We are killing it, you guys. Don't look at my wire management. <laughs> Don't judge, okay? We're getting there. Um, got a good amount of editing done. Walked for like an hour. I'm breaking to eat lunch. Grabbing my sippy. It's like one o'clock right now, so we've got like another hour to get things done. This is my real life meal that I'm having right now. We had leftover ground turkey in the fridge, so I made two Costco egg frittatas and I put Cholula and sour cream on it. And that's my random fridge bowl. <laughs> All right, we're in the middle of editing still. Dad just got here. Zane and I are heading outside. And look what he's freaking doing. He can't stop. He goes to grab the skimmer. I'm like, Dad, don't skim my pool. I can do that. He's like, well, have, why haven't you done it? You got to get it before it all sinks to the bottom. I'm like, Dad, I've been working. I haven't had a chance. <laughs> and he refuses. He refuses to not skim the pool. I'll skim it for a few minutes to satisfy him. Okay, we have rinsed off the tan. The boys are fixing the water pressure issues, which I think they just fixed because I went to wet my beauty blender and the water like shot at me. So I think they fixed the pressure. We were having like no pressure and then when you would use the freaking hose, there was like no water at all. So they think it was like a filter issue, which we're gonna fix now. So that is exciting because it was becoming such a pain to be like, we wanna fill the pool because I really wanna go by the pool tomorrow and we have to like start the filter up, but we couldn't fill it because we had to use the dishwasher and we had to shower and wash our hands. So now finally that problem is fixed. We are moisturizing, trying to get the last of this product out. There we go. This has reached the end, goodbye. I'm gonna put on also some of my favorite eye cream. We are curling the hair today, so I'm gonna clip up the top layer. We'll curl the bottom. I'm just gonna do some quick, like loose kind of curls throughout. I'm gonna do the hair. I'll come back to you guys when we're ready for makeup. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. <gasps> you know what I'm thinking? I was just editing the vlog where I spray painted the table outside and it might have made a film on my camera and that's why it's giving like a cast I'm seeing. Baby? Yeah? We're gonna try to run to Lowe's real quick. Yeah? Get the right filter because I wanna be able to put everything back and just be done with it. Okay. Do you wanna take the Home Depot gift card and use that and slash get a hose too? Uh, no, we don't have time for all that. Okay. We'll You're just gonna do Lowe's? Okay. Yeah, it's the closest one right now. Alright. Anyways, just a simple hair curl, I feel like, just changes the whole game. I'm not gonna, like, brush my fingers through it yet because I'm gonna let it set while I do my makeup. So we're gonna pull back the hair. Okay, okay, we are gonna gel the brows. I've been doing my foundation and forgetting to do the brows before and I don't like doing the brows after the foundation. So today, we're making sure we do the brows before the foundation. I'm gonna use this Hourglass Airbrush Primer. Make the skin look like glass, literally. This is funny since I just used Hourglass Primer. I'm about to use a Wet n Wild foundation. Complete opposite sides of the spectrum, but I just cannot give up this foundation. I just love it. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. It is my favorite. It looks so good. I've gotten compliments on this foundation. I've made so many people try it. And I try a bunch of other foundations too. Like I love my CC creams and tinted moisturizers and stuff, but an actual foundation, I always come back to this one. And I use two different shades to kind of make it all match. Like it's just too good. And it's $5, literally a $5 foundation. If they ever stop making it, I'm gonna be so upset. One time they sent me a PR package of like all the shades and I almost died because I'm like their biggest fan of this foundation. <laughs> I also really did like this YSL concealer last time I used it. So I'm gonna go in with that again. I was just editing back the video where I tried this and I was like, ooh, my under eyes looked really good. So let me fill you guys in on what Zane and I are getting up to tonight. I got invited to an event hosted by Pinterest and Zola, which Zola is basically like a wedding planning kind of website. They do all sorts of stuff and I am a Pinterest hoe. Like I love me some 
Pinteresting. I especially love Pinterest for house and wedding stuff. I have a house board and it's broken up by room and I have all stuff saved for the house for like inspo and stuff and then like the wedding I have like dresses, vibes, florals, all that kind of stuff. I keep them private because obviously that's like surprises and stuff, you know. Anyways, point is, got invited to this event and it's all about like wedding trends and 2023 things and using Pinterest and using Zola and just a whole bunch of wedding stuff and when I got the email I was like this is perfection like sign me up it is at the Brooklyn winery they're doing a dinner and I'm sure we'll have wine because it's at a winery and Zane and I get to go and meet some people and connect with people that will be really good for the wedding so I am so excited and it's a gorgeous day out so it's just gonna be a really nice night out we're gonna learn some stuff meet some great people I'm just excited to learn like some new tips and tricks for weddings or even like some new like ideas or untraditional things that people are doing I love stuff like that so I am pumped to see what this is all about and what they have to say. I still have to pick out what I want to wear. I feel like for like bride and wedding events, I should wear white. I don't know why, but we'll see what I have. Um, I'm giving myself plenty of time to get ready. I've been doing this and it has been so nice to not be in a freaking rush. And so nice to just allow myself to have this time. Like I felt like it wasn't worth my time, but like it definitely is. It is 3.11, we're gonna leave at about like 4.30ish. So I've got plenty of time to wrap up my makeup and decide what I want to wear. And while we're in the car, I'm going to post my power washing reel. I edited it and put it on Dropbox so it's ready to go. And then I'm going to book the hotel for our engagement shoot because that is coming up so fast. And I've been debating on what hotel we want to stay at and how far we want to stay from our location for the shoot. And I think I finally made a decision. So I just have to go ahead and hit book. And I'm so, 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 so excited about it. I haven't decided about that yet. I'm definitely going to do like a little bit of behind the scenes, of course, like vlogging that day. But it might be delayed because by the time we get back the pictures and stuff, I want to post that like after we post the pictures. So we'll see on the timeline as it gets closer. But I want to keep it a surprise until the pictures are ready to post, you know. But Monica's actually pretty quick with it so maybe there won't be a delay at all maybe i'm just talking out my butt you know i didn't think i would like a blush this color but the last time i wore it i really liked my makeup so today i'm like why am i not doing that again since i really liked it it's like a purple blush it's from rare beauty but usually i go for like a peachy color but i kind of like this purple maybe it just like complements my skin tone well and my hair color i don't know what it is Makeup is done. I just did the nude color that I always do, the NYX lingerie push-up. It's my favorite. This might be a bold move. So I think I have like pretty nice full lips. I've never gotten anything done to them, any injections, any anything like that. And I don't think that they need anything more, but I got this in a PR package, the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. And naturally, I'm just so curious. This might be a bad night to do it when I'm about to go to an event, but let's try it out. I'm interested. It's gonna tingle probably a lot, but let's see. Okay, it's just been sitting in my makeup and I'm just been like scared to try it, but that smells like grapes, like fake grape flavor. Not a fan of that. Oh, <gasps> I feel it stinging. I already feel it working. Okay, here's my lips before. <laughs> Are my lips gonna get huge? <laughs> Wait, I have to take a picture of them before. I'm gonna pick my outfit and get dressed. It is 342. We have plenty of time. So nice, it's so much better this way. Here's a close up of the makeup. I feel like it came out so good. Like my skin looks so smooth and flawless. Earrings. Let's put on some fun earrings, shall we? These are kind of cute. I've never worn those before, but then I can't wear big earrings, which is upsetting. Mm -hmm. These are giving winery. But first studs, we need studs. I'm gonna do these gold knot studs. Sorry, Zane and my dad are talking, but I'm gonna do these gold knot studs and then these earrings hanging. Hopefully whatever outfit I pick this, these match, but they're black, so I'm sure it'll be fine. I was told the attire for this event is a uh, dressy casual or casual dressy or something like that. So I'm like, hopefully I don't feel under or overdressed, but I'm gonna do with what I will with that information and make my best guesstimate. I'm gonna look at my dresses. I think, I feel like a dress and like a booty heel would be really cute. Love the makeup, came out so good. I really like it. Are my lips getting bigger? Do they look bigger? I can't tell. The boys went to Lowe's and got a new filter for our water and they think that solved the issue, which is amazing. Cute, these earrings are cute. Okay, what are we gonna wear? 
let me figure that out okay just got distracted on the phone with my sister so now we've got a few minutes to pick things out zane's in the shower he gets ready quick um I've been getting ready for like two friggin' hours. But I definitely am thinking dress. I'm looking at my dresses here when I was on the phone with her and I'm like, ooh, we've got a few really cute options. How do I wanna show you guys? Okay, let's show. So if we wanna go like white creamish, this is a really pretty dress. I feel like it's appropriate for this weather as well. I've worn this once before to one other event. And then we've also got this dress. I've never worn this yet, but this might be giving a little bit too fancy and I just don't want to be overdressed. But if I wear this with like sneakers or booties, I feel like it wouldn't be overdressed. So this is another option, it's brown, which I love, 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 love me, a chocolate brown. Or also if we wanna wear white, I have this new dress from House of CB that is so cute. This I can definitely wear with some sneakers and it would look really adorable. And it's kind of giving winery, like this cute little pattern. This might be the move, but we've got those three options. I think that's good to start with. I do have this blazer dress, but this might be giving like way too fancy, but we can pull it. Okay, so we're gonna try on a few options. Oh, I also have this fit that I wore in Texas, but I never really got to wear it again. We've got a lot of good options. I love having this closet because I would forget about having half of this stuff. And I'm also looking at the stuff that the hangers are turned backwards that I haven't worn yet. Let's pick, we're gonna pull all of them. I'm leaning away from the chocolate just because I want to give white bride vibes, but let's hang them on my little thing here. All right, let's see, let's try on. Okay, this is option one. I would definitely need to wear like a little mini top or something underneath it, but I don't know. I'm just feeling like this is not the vibes for tonight. I feel like I need to wear this to something that I know is super formal and fancy. And tonight I just don't really know that this is the vibe for like a Brooklyn winery, especially with these like puffy sleeves. It's giving like corporate. And I just don't think that that, that's not what we have going on. So option number two, here we go. Option two is this dress from Windsor. These actually tie up around the neck, but I kind of like it without them better. And it feels pretty secure, like it would stay up. So I just need to figure out what I would want to do with these strings. Like, I don't know, maybe I would just take it off actually. I think they would just come right off now that I'm looking at it. Um, but this is really cute. I like this as an option. I would put on Spanx so that it smooths out so you can't see my like underwear line, but I like this. This is a very, very cute winery vibe i've decided to not even try on the chocolate one i think i'm gonna save this for something else because i just want to wear like a cream or a white okay here's the set this might be the winner honestly i really 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 love this set and when i wore it last time it didn't get the moment she deserved because i was not feeling well i was at my sister's in texas and i rushed getting ready and i didn't get really cute pictures in it so i'm like she needs her time to shine yet again. We're approaching the time to leave and honestly, I'm like, I could wear this to so many different things. This is definitely a little more event appropriate. So I think I'm gonna save this and I think we're just gonna go with this. This is the winner. Also because now I don't have to change out of it again. <laughs> I just wanna throw a little bit of product in this hair. Definitely some like shine spray and some hairspray so she stays in place. I already like lightly brushed it out. For perfume, I'm gonna go with the YSL. I've gotten a few compliments when I wear this and I feel like it definitely gives like fancier scented vibes. <laughs> oh, that's all we wear. Now shoes is the last part. Do we wanna dress it down with some Converse? Maybe just some little sparkly slides, keep it cash. Or maybe ones like this. Yeah, that's definitely more the vibe. But then I'm really short. No, I don't think I like the booties with this. I have these little mini heels. I'm really not feeling those either. Huh. I think I'm gonna shoot for sneakers. How do Converse look under this? Zane's wearing Converse, so that would be cute if we twinned. And Zane never wears Converse, and I always wear Converse, so this might be the moment. Babe, come here. What do we think? I might be answering my own question, actually, because I kind of want to twin with you, and I think it makes the outfit cooler. Converse. For sure, right? Yeah, because the little pinstripe matches. <gasps> cute. I like it. It like dresses it down a little bit, too. Yeah. Okay. And we're twins. Nice. Wow. You never wear Converse. They look so cute. Thanks. I love them. Okay, perfect. Shoes, purse, and we're out of here. I'm so excited to eat. I don't even know what's for dinner, but I know there's dinner. Cute.
I like it. We need sunglasses. I don't know about these. I think cat eye might be the vibe. Okay, we're gonna go for cat eye. Mostly for a uh, hair accessory because I'm pretty sure it's an in indoor event. And I'm gonna go for the Givenchy without the strap. I'm gonna take this off. Wear it like that. Maybe I should leave the strap on because convenience. <laughs> yeah, the strap's gonna stay on because if we're standing around talking to people, we need to be convenient. Okay. I also am more than likely gonna take off my Apple Watch when we get there because we're gonna be walking, so I'm gonna leave it on, but when we get there, I think it's ruining the vibe. I'm gonna take it off. Okay, now just bracelets and we're off. Dinner. Wait, let me update them. Right, Here's the update. We're at dinner, got our little place cards, got our dinner menu, and we got goodie bags, little tote bags. So we're gonna show you guys what we got. Sorry, it's really loud, but you know, here we are. Oh, this is a non-alcoholic red wine. Non-alcoholic red wine. I think then we do have an alcoholic, an alcoholic wine from the Brooklyn Winery, which is where we are. Fantastic. Fantastic. Following that, we have. Following that. <gasps> Some kitchen towels. Wow. Those are so cute. Very cute kitchen towels. 10 out of 10. Already? Yeah, I love those. You didn't even use them and they get a 10 out of 10? Yeah, I like the uh, the vibe of them well, for, the, for the looks, you know, for the aesthetic. Then we also have... Is this? What's this? A Pinterest bag. Oh, a little travel bag? There you go. From Pinterest? Okay. What is this? Is it just a, a pillow sample? I don't know. <laughs> don't pull it out. What if we can't get it back in? Oh, it's coming out. Guys, we were not made for these events. <laughs> oh my god, is it a sleep oh, mask? Sleep mask. Wow, wow, you just got one on Amazon. You could have got it here. Uh, you want to continue with this haul? Is there right. anything else? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what is this? Sparkling water, lime Ooh, ginger flavor. Yum. Sure. Sure. Is it a perfume? It is a perfume. <gasps> wow factor. Maybe it's unisex. Maybe we can both like it. Should we smell it? No. Not right we'll now. Save that for okay, later. later, later, later. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Looking quite rough this morning, but we had a nice time at the event and then we just drove back home. So we got flowers there, which they did survive overnight in the sink. I am putting them in a little mason jar. Cute. They're gonna live right here by the sink. Very cute. Okay, next up is we have to go turn the pool pump back on. I mean the hose, that's what I meant. Birds are chirping. They fixed the pressure, so we were scared to leave it on at night in case it would overflow, so I'm just gonna turn it on now. Wow, now it's really coming out. Okay, it's still pretty early in the morning, so I'm gonna go work for a bit on the walking pad and then I'm coming out here. Oh, I have to blow out my float too so I can float in the pool today. It's gonna be like 80 degrees, tomorrow's gonna be like 85. So I'm gonna go get on my walking pad <clears throat> and get tomorrow's vlog edited so that today and tomorrow I can lay outside. It's still pretty like shady for the most part, like all in the pool too. So in probably like a few hours, I'll come back out here and the sun will be perfect and the pool will be full. We can put the filter on, we can start vacuuming, skimming, and we can set up the salt as well because we have to put like our first round of salt. Our pool, we opened it and it was just blue, which is amazing. I'm so used to my parents opening their pool and it's just green, but my dad was like, well, to be fair, we usually close it when it's green. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, ours was blue when we closed it. Or clear, I guess, not blue, but you know what I mean. Sun is shining, birds are chirping. <gasps> Oh my God, look what I just realized. You can see from out here, the cat hair that is on these curtains on this side from them sitting in the window. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Oh my God, <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, let me go get some shish done. Shish, I never say that. You stay inside. Yeah. You can look outside, you wanna look outside?
Okay, a little pit stop for the day. I was just editing and I asked out if he wanted to come to Harbor Freight with me because we need a little like air compressor for like bikes, pool floats, stuff like that. And I don't go to Harbor Freight without asking dad if he wants to come. So now we're checking out which one we want to grab. Do we know? This is 6.7 kilograms and this is 6.85 kilograms. Oh my God. It's almost the same. Let me see everything on the specs. As the someone same. who is indecisive, they make two different shapes and it's very hard to decide which shape. I don't know. Okay, we've made a decision. We decided on this one because it's more narrow. You can fit it on shelves and stuff. Now we're seeing if it comes with any wires or anything that we need. We got like 50 blades mm -hmm. for like 20 bucks, mm -hmm. 30 bucks. Like one of them is. Sometimes they have more stuff than they I love walking around Harbor Freight with you. <laughs> Tells me about all the tools he has. Oh, look at the little blade. <laughs> look how cute. <laughs> Hello. Okay. I took a little pit stop at Harbor Freight. As you guys saw, I had to text my dad. I was just going to run there and go, but I was like, dad loves Harbor Freight and he loves like sharing. I love like going around the store with him and he tells me about all the tools he loves and what he wants and all this like cute stuff. It's just fun. And I love to, you know, be involved in his interests because I love when he is with mine. Like now that he knows, sorry, I'm putting you on the tripod. <laughs> Um, now that he knows I read books, I feel like he mentions it once in a while and I just think that's really cute. So, um, that was fun. I dropped him off at his house and he unboxed it for me and like showed me how to attach everything and use it. So we're going to blow up the pool floats. I just got into my bathing suit. This is the Abercrombie Curve Love one. I'm just wearing the little bikini set and then this little tie sarong thing is from Amazon. I need to make some food and eat. And then we're gonna blow up the float. We're gonna turn on the filter for the pool. It is gorgeous outside right now. So the plan is I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I don't know what yet, maybe like a sandwich or something quick and easy. And I'm gonna start reading on my Kindle for a little bit. I need to eat, I'm really hungry. And then we will set up the float, mess with the pool and stuff. I'm gonna start reading the Hopeless series by Colleen Hoover. I'm excited to dive into it. And I love my Kindle, so I'm just excited to have a first pool day. First pool day of the season. I just want to soak in the sun, read my book. It's going to be so nice. I figured it out, actually. I did defrost a piece of tilapia, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to make like a nice big salad. I'm going to do salt and pepper. I'm going to air fry it. Wow! That was a lot of garlic powder. I'm going to do a little bit of ginger. And I'm going to do some everything bagel seasoning. Just for the sesame seeds, really. If I had just sesame seeds, I would use that. Oh, you know what? I got to spray it. My seeds are not sticking, and this lighting is terrible. Here she is, a little sesame crusted tilapia. I'm gonna do some avocado, soy sauce. I think I have like a ginger scallion kind of dressing from Trader Joe's. And I always just hit the fish button. 10 minutes at 390, and it comes out perfect. I've got my prepped lettuce, which has been the best thing ever, by the way. It's actually starting to go a little bit like brown, so I wanna make sure I use it before we waste it. I've never bought that big of a pack before from Costco, so maybe next time I'll just make sure I get a smaller pack from a different store. Oh no, this avocado is a little sad, but it's okay, I'll still eat it. I won't waste. Okay, well this is not gonna be one of my aesthetically pleasing <laughs> food plates, clearly. I've seen questions when I use this dressing of like the recipe and it's literally just Trader Joe's. So this is what it is. Carrot ginger miso dressing. It tastes like the salad dressing you get from like a hibachi restaurant when they give you the appetizer. That is this dressing and it is so good. I'm gonna do a little bit of sriracha and my tilapia has like two minutes left. So perfect timing. Yum. Listen, it could have turned out worse. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'm gonna eat here quick, but first I'm really curious. I wanna turn on the filter because my dad was like, I don't know if it's gonna just work right away. I brought out the little um, air compressor that we got today. It's so cute. It's so like movable. I said, I think I told you guys, like my dad showed me how to use it. All I have to do is plug it in and just hook up this little thing. He's like, I got a bag for you. He gave me a little bag. He's like, these are all your attachments. He's like, I gave you an extra one. <laughs> It's really cute but yeah we got this and then like the whole little set but anyways let's turn on this filter and let's see we still have to do all the salt stuff we're gonna do that a little bit later i think zane's actually gonna come sit outside with me for a bit right now let's see oh it's going i see it yay i think 
let me go fill. I gotta skim, I gotta vacuum, we gotta get this pool ready. At least it's full. See how now it's full up to like halfway on the skimmer, on the filter thing? Where are we at here? Is it on? It's not on. Oh, okay. These are supposed to be shooting water. Oh, it's cold. I don't know. I don't know if that should be running if that's not going. But maybe I need to give it a minute. Alright, I'm gonna keep it on. This is the new like salt thing. They just came and like added this part. And then we have to plug it in once we like fill it with all the salt stuff, which we have in the shed. I'll show you guys that when we do it, but I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and see if it starts to do things. I think that one is working. I see it rippling. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna eat and then we'll get to it. Yay, it's so beautiful out. Two things. Number one. The filter is starting to bubble. I see it now. I think it just needed a second. Um, also, as bad as this salad looks, it's actually delicious. And the avocado tastes great. That's a win in my book. <laughs> Here we go. We're diving in. Hopeless. I haven't started it. I finished my other book a few days ago. But I like when I start a book to have like a good amount of time to like get into it and really understand it. So I was waiting for the right moment where I like had time to like, you know, I feel like you really have to pay attention within the first like 50 pages of a book to like really grasp what's going on. So today is that day. And look at the first page. That's the day Zane and I started dating. This is one year before we started dating in 2013. Oh my god, wait, how weird. I just got to like the next chapter and August 25th is the day before Zane's birthday and it's his brother's birthday. Like, Amani's the 25th and he's the 26th. Isn't that weird? Two important dates right after the other in this book? That's weird. All right, we're gonna blow up the floats. Let's get on our sunscreen. I'm gonna take off my Apple Watch when I lay down because I don't want to get an Apple Watch tan. Okay, we are sunscreened up, <laughs> actually. I should have got a face one from downstairs, but that works. Okay, now we're ready. Filters are looking great. Let's go to the shed. Still have to put on our diving board, but not a big deal. Okay, let's go to the shed. Oh, I see spider webs, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay, um, what are we getting in here? Oh, the pool floats. I'm also gonna need this to skim the pool with. So I'm gonna bring this out. This is an attachment that I got from Amazon. Okay, and then I see the pool floats back here. Here they are. Oh. Oh god, I feel bugs. I don't like it. These were gifted to me, um, like, right before we moved. So I was like, ooh, I'm gonna save these and blow them up for our first summer in the house. And I did. So, thank you so much, fun boy, for the floats. Me and my friends and family will be floating on these all summer long. That is for sure. Oh, I was like, I heard someone talking to me. Yeah? Are you gonna get cat litter? Thank you so much. All right, I love you. Went to clean the cat boxes. Zero cat litter. And Zane got his new car, so I'm like, I have a joy ride for you. Okay, let's blow up these things. We need to buy a new hose. We have a Home Depot gift card that we got for our <laughs> engagement party that we still haven't used from January, so I'm like, perfect. That's gonna be our new hose. I want one that like, you know, retracts into itself. I'm gonna get my phone stand. I'm gonna take a little video on my phone too. So it takes me 500 years to do something because I'm like, wait, I should film it for this. Wait, I should do this. Sun's gonna go down by the time I'm done today, but <laughs> it's okay, we have tomorrow. We're plugged in. I'm gonna connect my little hose here. That's loud. <laughs> Okay, can you guys see? Hopefully you can. Okay, now before I even dare put those floats in this pool, I gotta skim it. And then we decided to try to get it as clean as we can, and then tomorrow we'll put in all the salt and stuff and start it fresh, because Zane and I really wanna like pay attention and take the time to do it, and right now I'm just like, I just wanna relax and read. And tomorrow's a better day for both of us to read all the directions, make sure we're putting in enough salt, all that jazz. It's like a whole learning process. For today, we skim. We clean it, and tomorrow the salt will go in. All right, we did pretty good. I want to relax now for the rest of the day, so. Tomorrow, before we put in all the salt and stuff, we have like an actual vacuum attachment that we can attach to the hose, which we'll do to get the rest of the um, leaves and stuff up. I'm not gonna like go crazy with the skimmer. It's honestly really difficult. It gets so heavy when you try to pull it out of the water, but we're gonna let the filter run for a while and it's time to put the floats in the pool. I don't think I'm gonna go in it because um, it's really cold. <laughs> and those floats are like mesh in the middle. So I think tomorrow when I lay in the sun, I'll end up 
going in but for today i'm probably just gonna kick it on my lounge chair to get the um pad for it out of the shed but let's put the floats in okay i didn't close the other one properly so it deflated a bit so i'm gonna blow that one back up but look how pretty it looks so good and obviously we have to put the steps in tomorrow too which we will do that'll be in the next vlog i'll start um a weekend vlog but also if you can see this tree is driving me crazy it's this one right here it is like on the other side of the fence it's so technically it's our neighbor's tree but it has all these like dead little helicopter <laughs> leaves or like little whatever they are little plants and they're all brown and dead so they're all falling off the tree and they are literally getting everywhere like every time wind comes it's like a rainfall of all of those helicopter leaves so hopefully the filter does its thing because I keep skimming them out and they keep reappearing. <laughs> okay, two out of two, we fixed it. The previous owners of this house did all these renovations in 2019 and I don't know why, maybe it was more expensive, I don't know why they did these kind of steps. Instead of right here in this corner, built-ins like that just lead right from the pavement and you can like step into the pool, that would have been so gorgeous. So I'm gonna look into that after the summer is over and see if that's like an upgrade that's like doable and if it's not like an absurd amount of money because it's not necessary but it would be nice who knows it could be like a years and years down the line thing or maybe we're like yeah let's just do it next summer i don't know it probably would be a process they'd probably have to empty the pool and then like dig it out and stuff so i don't know how that would go but i feel like that would just elevate it and make it so nice i guess technically we don't even need steps we could just like you know plop ourselves in or my dad was saying like oh what if you just did like metal ladders that just go in on the deep end and then on this side you just hop in i don't know or i can just get like more like aesthetically pleasing <laughs> kind of step it's just food for thought okay i'm gonna actually sit out now what time is it it is already 4 49 <laughs> time just got away from me today so i'm gonna relax for a bit while i still have the sun in the backyard it is slowly going behind those trees now this this is a setup right here oh Guys, how long have I been waiting for this moment? Oh my goodness. I get to just lay here and read my Kindle. Sign me up. How is this my backyard? So grateful. Okay, inside now, it's like 7 p.m. We're doing like a random dinner. We were gonna cook and we decided to save it for tomorrow. We're just gonna relax instead of making a whole big cooking mess. But look what I just got ordered this for myself. Oh, it's the stamp that you were talking about. It's a book stamp. So I can Cute. stamp all my books that I, was I own. I wondering what you were talking about. Oh, it's backwards because it's a stamp, but it says from the library of Alyssa. Nice. It's so cute. With a little book in the middle. Yeah. And then you stick it, and I got the stuff with it. The ink? Yeah. So you stick it in the ink pad and you can mark all your books. That is and so that's cute. cute. I got it from a, I got it from a little Etsy shop. I'll put it down below. You don't have to watch this, it's just my books. <laughs> <laughs> I got some more books on Poshmark. Um, they're upside down. We got Heart Bones and Without Merit. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. Flying through her books. I'm really trying to finish them all and I promise I'm gonna go to other authors, but something in me just needs to read every single one because now I'm a fan, so I wanna be caught up. When she releases a new book, I wanna be like ready for it. I also got another one from another Poshmark seller, Confess. This is a standalone. Excited to read this too. I'm actually excited for the next book I wanna read that's not on uh, Kindle Unlimited because as much as I love the Kindle, I do still wanna read my physical books and I kinda miss it, so. But like, I like both, I don't know. But like, I think it'll be a good change up. There's pictures in here, like like drawings or paintings. Cool. You know what's so funny? On her website, I saw that she was selling like the artwork from Confess and I was like, hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll see what that means. Sorry, I didn't really intro this, but we just got like a bunch of packages at the door, so I'm doing a little unboxing with you. Oh, I think this is a PR package. Detox Fuji water, sparkling spru spur spirulina water, caffeine-free, vegan, low-sugar, low-calorie, sparkling pink grapefruit and cucumber, yum. That sounds delicious. I'm becoming more of a beverage girl. Does this have caffeine in it though? No, it doesn't. Okay, good. I'm gonna put these in the fridge and I'll try them out. Oh, this is a different flavor. White peach, <gasps> lemon and ginger, yum. Full, full, full water. Thank you so much. I have no idea. Oh, okay. This is the glue stuff because some of our bricks are falling off the front of our house. I don't know why that's happening. But my dad said it's not a big deal. He's like, just order these and we'll use like a caulk gun to fix those. Okay, so that's a DIY dad project. Next time he comes over, we'll do that. Okay, lastly, we've got a package from Alani New. 
I think one of them leaked or it got wet in the rain or something. So it's kind of falling apart, but these are all Zine. These are a bunch of energy drinks, which he loves. What flavor is this? Kiwi guava, yum. But yeah, shout out Alani, keeping Zane stacked. Okay, I think that was everything. That was a very random array of packages. I'm gonna clean up this mess now. We're just gonna have a nice chill rest of this Thursday. So I'm gonna pick up a new vlog tomorrow. I'm gonna go take a nice shower, a nice shower. If you know, you know. Make something quick and easy and yummy to eat and probably hop in bed early and read the book that I'm reading. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm on page like 40, I think. So I'll pick it back up tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. Good. Oh, you guys are dirty from yesterday and you're dying shit. We did it, you guys. Oh my God, this freaking cat. Good, now you guys are all blurry. Benji, no. No, 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 come to mommy. Oh my god, you guys are all blurry, what the heck? Okay, I fixed it. I literally thought he just broke the camera for a second. The little bikini set and then this little... Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of... Sir Hello? Oh! oh my god. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, my boy. Mm-hmm.